I'm Richard Roper, and coming up next, we haven't had a superhero movie for days, but the drought is finally over. Ryan Reynolds is Green Lantern. My review right now. Even the most ardent fanboys out there have to admit Green Lantern is one of the sillier superheroes, what with the emerald tights and the gaudy ring and the way he flits about, not to mention the whole Guardians of the Universe thing. The big screen version of Green Lantern isn't quite as awful as the Green Hornet, but it's pretty cheesy. I, Hal Jordan, do solemnly swear to pledge allegiance to a lantern that I got from it dying purple alien. Ryan Reynolds does smirk a lot better than he does Sincere playing Hal Jordan. He's a reckless test pilot who's chosen as the first human being to become a Green Lantern. We get a lot of exposition in this origins story with the obligatory Shakespearean narrator, a council of big-headed leaders on very tall perches, and a whole bunch of CGI creatures. We have never been defeated. Will we be defeated now? It was for this moment that we were created, but I don't need to tell you your duty. Back on Earth, we're supposed to believe Reynolds, Peter Sarsgaard, and Blake Lively all grew up together. Really? Was it a one-room schoolhouse encompassing grades one through eight? Hal is reluctant to embrace his superhero status. Boyhood friend Hector embraces evil in a big way, and Lively is the damsel in distress. Stay here. No problem. There's also the obligatory evil force out to rule the universe with Earth the first casualty. Apparently, this guy hasn't seen Thor because that plan never works. <laughs> Cast is likable but not memorable. The special effects are just okay. The story plays out like a warmed over casserole, borrowing ingredients from Spider Man, Iron Man, and Superman. Reynolds provides a couple of decent chuckles, but the action sequences are mostly uninspired. Of course, the ending leaves open the possibility of further adventures, but there's nothing here to feed the appetite for a franchise. Green Lantern feels like a one and done effort. I give it a C minus. I'm Richard Roper. You can get all my reviews at richardroper.com and on Reels Channel TV about movies.